Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is John Hammond. This is another video write-up for Pico CTF 2018. This challenge is called Mr. Robots for 200 points in the web exploitation category. Challenge prompt is, do you see the same things I see, the glimpses of the flag hidden away at this link? So we can go check out this website. It says, Mr. Robots, hello, friend. So uh, I'm just going to glisten from the challenge title and the name here that this is a reference to robots.txt. So if you haven't seen that before, I cover it in a lot of videos because it's kind of just the most simple low-hanging fruit web challenge classic thing you can find in a CTF. So it's just a text file that explains pages that would not be kind of visible to a Google bot or kind of a web spider or crawler that's trying to index pages and stuff like that. So uh, we can go ahead and check out that robots.txt file. Let's go to the forward slash robots.txt in the URL. It says, for any user agent, so for any kind of web browser, go ahead and disallow this page. Don't allow them to get to that page. They're trying to hide it. But it is plain text. We can all see it. It's all accessible. So so much depends upon a red flag, we can just go ahead and grab this flag right there and submit that. So if you wanted to, we could go ahead and make a get flag script out of that. Let's go ahead and just write like curl here. Go ahead and curl s this, and then let's get our flag format out of it. Super duper easy. All right, just like that, we can save it. Again, my flag will be different than yours because of uh, the hex at the very, very end. Oh, I should have marked that as complete. My bad. Get flag script, bin bash, paste that in there, mark it as executable. Go ahead and run it, save it, and mark that challenge as complete. Easy peasy. All right. The next challenge is called No Login for 200 points. It says, it looks like someone started to make a website but never got around to making a login. But I heard there was a flag if you were the admin. So this challenge got a lot of flack. Uh, no one particularly liked it, <laughs> at least from what it seemed like. Uh, it says, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like you are the admin. I think this was kind of a guessing challenge or a leap of faith challenge, and that's why I think it got so much flack, because sign in and sign out aren't available. Um, if you check... If you try, try and go to the flag page, it says you're not the admin. So what we ended up having to have to do was creating a cookie. So I'm using edit this cookie. I'm just going to create a new one here. Uh, the name will be admin, and I'll set the value to 1. And now I refresh, go ahead and hit the flag button, and it gives me the flag just like that. So no real inclination or no real kind of point to do that just like maybe from your learning in the previous in the in the, in the previous challenge where you had to modify the cookies this time we had to add a cookie kind of guess the value the name would be admin and it set it to one or true and you'd, you'd get a flag so dumb <laughs> not my favorite thing but whatever um i'm just gonna bang out a quick script for that let's make a directory no login and i'll mark it as complete now because we know we've already got it no login complete, and I just created a script, a Python script for it, because I just want to be able to specify those cookies. User bin environment Python. Let's go ahead and grab the URL. URL can equal this. Let's import requests, which if you don't have installed, you can sudo pip install requests, and if you don't have pip, you can sudo apt install python hyphen pip. And let's just do requests.get URL with cookies. That's a keyword argument I want here. Let's say admin and set it to one. And let's just say this is R for a response variable. Let's print r.text. Looks like we do get the flag just visible there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and carve it out with some regular expressions. So let's do re and then re.findall pico ctf. Star asks Strist to get it all, and we get that as our input, and we can go ahead and print that out. So perfect. Let's mark that as executable. Redirect it to flag.txt, and we're done with that. Awesome. All right. What's the next challenge? Do we want to submit that? Do I have it in my clipboard still? No, I don't. Too many alt tabs. All righty. Now that that one's done, let's check out Secret Agent for 200 points. Another web exploitation category challenge. Here's a little website that hasn't been fully finished, but I hear I heard Google gets all your info anyway. So we can check this out. 
my new website, hit the flag, it says, you are not Google, and it gives us our user agent, or the header that's passed through HTTP, or whenever you try and make a web request, um, about what kind of browser that you're using. So it, it sounds like, in this case, we want to act as if we are the Google bot, or the Google crawler to index stuff, like as if we were viewing it, the robots.txt file. So let's try and figure out the Google user agent. Let's try to Google what the Google user agent may be. And Google crawlers, user agents. I had to poke around with this a little bit. Um, I think eventually it was the Google bot or Google auth thing that worked. Not sure which of these, maybe. Let's try this guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this web address. I'm going to go to my terminal here and I'm gonna use curl to go ahead and get the page. It says, you're not Google, and it says curl is our, is our user agent here. Let's specify a user agent. Curl can use tac tac user agent. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in this information here. And it says, awesome, here's the flag, secret agent. So that one worked just fine. I use the user agent um, in curl. And you could do this if you wanted to with another Python requests module stuff. You can say headers can equal curly braces and then the header. So you're just setting up a dictionary for the headers that you want to supply and you can paste in the header that you want. And then in your request, you would simply say headers equals headers. Or if you want to use a dictionary inline, you could do it just like that. So interesting thing, but I'm not going to go through that one. I like the curl style here. And then we can just grep for our flag carve it out. And if we're going to grep, we need curl tack S. Oh, my processing was weird there. Awesome. And now that is our get flag script. Let's make a directory for that. It's called secret agent. Mark it as complete. and bang out a get flag script with our proof of concept stuff that we just did. Awesome. Redirect that to flag.txt. So that's that. Uh, some cool web challenges, some simple stuff, uh, just kind of knowing your toolkit and knowing what is able to to crank through those for you. Um, I think that it's kind of awesome to just know how we can manipulate those headers and those cookies whenever we need them, especially in code and in automation. So doing that in curl or doing that in Python is just going to benefit you later down the road for a lot more of these CTF style stuff. Before I go, I do want to give a quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Uh, I actually just lost this page because I uh, ended up accidentally saving this the second half that I because I split my screen in Sublime Text and uh, the the original supporters.txt file that I keep track of just lost that half. So uh, I got to be careful about that. I, I realize I'm missing some of the accents on some people's names, and I'm very, very very sorry. I'll fix it. <laughs> Probably immediately. Uh, hopefully, anyway. All right. Hey, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. I know it's not a whole lot. It's just a small, stupid incentive, it, but it's just hopefully that feel-good feeling, the fuzzies, warm, warm fuzzies in your heart, helping out another dude, just trying to make his way, and I'm grateful. Thank you. $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live, because I like to have stuff usually backlogged and kind of ready for later releases, but I have not been very good about that lately, so hey, whatever. Uh, I would still be grateful. <laughs> I appreciate your support, whatever you're willing to give. Thanks so much. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, join our Discord server, link in the description. It is a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. If you want to hang out with me or other really cool people, people way smarter than me, um, that's an awesome and, and great place to do it. We're going to be tackling a lot more capture the flag competitions as they come through. Pico CTF is still going on just to have people learn and get better. Uh, it's, it's a cool CTF WordCamp. So, Thanks. Hey, hope to see you guys on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.